Hey guys and welcome! So today we're going to take a look at how to set up your Dubia roach colony. Ever since I got Archibald, I kinda realized that I really have to have a steady production of cockroaches since his main diet is insects and cockroaches are filled with all the good stuff. Of course he is gonna get other insects such as mealworm and grasshoppers and all that kind of stuff but I would really like to have this steady production of cockroaches so that's what I'm gonna set up today. I have tried tried having a roach colony before but it didn't go very well let me just say it like that I'm really hoping that this time I can do everything as right as it should be and that my cockroaches will be thriving and be healthy so that I can feed healthy animals to my animals so let's get going let's get this roach colony started all right guys the first thing we're gonna use is a box and I'm using this box this is a standard IKEA box I love IKEA boxes for reptile keeping and one I can use them for all kinds of stuff and on top of course I have a lid and this lid we drill some holes in it to make sure that air comes perfectly through because most animals do need air to survive cockroaches included the first thing we're going to use are these these are like egg boxes or whatever, or whatever you call them, sorry I don't know. These are pretty pretty good for the cockroaches to hide in and to breed in. So these are very important, you'd always have something like these in your cockroach setup. So this is what we're gonna put in first. The next thing we're gonna need is a bowl for their food. I've chosen one of these because they're kind of high around the corner here. It really does help keeping the food inside and not everywhere else where it shouldn't be. And also the cockroaches, they will just crawl in and eat and then crawl out without spilling everything all around. The bowl with the food. For the food, I'm using this. This is used for gut loading insects. I'm pretty sure that this contains pretty much everything that they should need in order to get big and fat. Because the healthier you're feeding animals, the healthier you your animals you're feeding them with is going to be. So this is the next thing I'm gonna put in. I have also chosen to combine their food with some fruits. I've heard that should be really really good for them. So today they're gonna get this big bunch of bananas with them. So that's gonna be very tasty. So down with this. The next thing we're gonna put in is this. This is the water. These are water crystals. And water crystals are pretty, pretty easy to make. What you basically do is that you take out the water crystals and you mix them with water. And then after some time, a couple of minutes, they will turn into these squishy looking crystals, if you can say it like that. Makes it a lot easier for the cockroaches to drink and they don't drown in it. All right, that's it for the box. Usually when I get insects, I get them shipped in a box. It can be a box like this. I just quickly opened it and inside here you can pretty much see that some different insects are carefully packed and looking yummy yummy. These here are the worms for Archibald. You may have already seen him eat it on Instagram. Absolutely love these. And here is what we're looking for. This is the cockroaches I'm talking about. These are the guys that's gonna live in my little box and hopefully they will breed so many more cockroaches so Archibald will never ever have to go hungry. We need to get these guys out of this box and into the other box. I have to tell you guys, I am not a fan of cockroaches. I have actually been really scared of them and I'm not that comfortable touching them with my hand.
like cockroaches. All right, guys, that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed this video on how to set up a cockroach colony. I sure did, and I'm really, really looking forward to see if they're gonna thrive and if they're gonna breed and all that kind of stuff. Because Archibald, he really does eat a lot. And that's also a thing you have to remember when you're feeding animals insects. They do tend to need to eat more than if you're feeding them with, let's say, mice and rats. That's all for today. Thank you so much, and please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me and also while you're at it just hit subscribe on that channel do remember we have a facebook group now so if you haven't joined yet please come and do so as usual you can find me on instagram under the name justice jungle thank you guys for now and bye bye